Hello everybody, welcome back to Airport Madness 3D Volume 2. Well, today as promised, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to manage, uh, how to uh, be an air traffic controller at uh, an airport with multiple runways. We're going to go to O'Hare and I'm going to show you how I like to do that and give you some tips on how to, uh, to organize your game so you can be successful, perhaps more successful than I usually am. I'm going to bring uh, traffic rate down to 6. Here's the settings screen. I want the uh, tower height, yeah, to be uh, about that. You can choose sunny or rain. You can set your uh, sound levels. You can turn on tweet comments. I'm not going to do that because it'll distract me. You can turn on air, uh, aircraft tags on or off. Uh, and the radar overlay. Uh, you can do everything from the tower with no radar or little radar to help you. Or you can do it like I like to do it. Um, and that is with, uh, with radar down in front that I can control. I'm going to Chicago O'Hare. And uh, we're going to do um, tens and fours which I typically do the first set uh, this way, but I'm gonna do tens and fours. Now notice that 28s and 22s, you have these things going from right to left, all of these runways, and uh, this one going from top down diagonally, this one running up diagonally. With tens and fours, you have the opposite. Um, you have uh, Uh, runway here, this, run, this runway goes this way, all of these go the opposite direction. And uh, I like it because there's a, uh, uh, a runway that I like to, uh, to use for departures. And that's the first thing you have to do is decide how you want to do that. Now your options here, runway nine right, uh, that's not bad, but you have to cross four left to get there, and you don't have much room for planes to uh, to uh, uh, to wait. Uh, runway ten left is over here, which isn't bad because the planes will park themselves. Uh, that's a good backup um, landing um, or arrival. Uh, runway four left isn't bad because they'll get all the way over here and only have to cross zero nine R. But for departures, they they land right here, and that blocks access to fifth to one five. If you want to use that, I like runway one five because they will bring themselves down there, and you can. There are no conflicting runways, so you can do departures anytime you want. The only thing you have to watch for is any planes that think they want to land on one five. You need to send them to a different uh, different runway. Right now, I have um, a plane coming in on four left. Oh, nine left. I thought it was four. Okay. Oops. Oh, there's four left. Okay. Uh, that's an F-27. Remember, they move kind of slowly, so you got to watch out for them. They do cross zero nine right, so you have to be careful there. Now, there's the first plane that wants to come in on one five. I'm going to convince him to go to nine left instead. Nine left is okay, except that you have to keep crossing uh, four left. Otherwise, if you get three of these to build up, there's going to be a crash. A lot of things to consider. Air traffic controllers do this. Air traffic controllers don't have everything coming and going on every runway. First of all, some runways would not be usable based on prevailing wind conditions. Uh, but secondly, you want to try to have a, a flow, and so you want to have runways that, that you only do arrivals on, and you want to have other runways that you only do departures on. Uh, that creates a, a safer traffic flow in your airport. The only trick then is that you need to make sure that here comes another 1 5. Well, you all want to land on 1 5, don't you? That happens. This plane is ready to cross, and there's nothing coming in on four left, so I'm going to cross him. Uh, these planes will get this far and have to cross zero nine right, so you got to kind of keep an eye on that. There's quite a bit of room to build up there. One of the problems, though, is when you have planes heading to one five, a plane that crosses here might have to wait on the runway for these planes to get out of the way, and that's pretty dangerous if you've got a a, uh, a four left arrival, or I'm sorry, a nine right arrival coming. So there's a lot of things to watch, and that's kind of the name of the game. You just gotta you gotta be aware and keep keep try to keep track of where everything is. 
I get into trouble when I get focused maybe on, I want to get, make sure all these planes are set to take off. And then I don't see that one's coming into 1-5 one and now I have four planes departing and and I've got an arrival that's going to land right on top of one. That's kind of a bad deal. I am going to set all these four. Okay, five, six. I'm going to tell them to take off when they get there and try my best to keep arrivals off of... Uh, uh, Oh, what the heck. I'll mark them all for takeoff. So that's going to be eight planes to be taking off. That's the one thing I like about Okay, now look at this. Oh, look at all these planes I've got backed up here. Um, i got to get them across. I better get these to cross because I have no gates at, uh, no planes at the gates. If I don't have planes at the gates, that means they're going to build up and uh, and uh, some arrivals aren't going to have a, a gate to go to and they're going to build up on the, on the runway. You can always click on a camera here for the plane and see what it looks like from the pilot's seat. Uh, whatever you just ordered, <laughs> you can see the uh, the ramifications of that. You can also go to a runway cam, and this one is uh, two seven left, so a. Uh, uh, Yeah, zero 09 right departure would come right at you here. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay. And finally, you can do a sky cam. And there's a drone option as well, which I'm not going to take time to show you, but you can actually fly over the airport like a drone. Um, I meant to show you before I started the uh, the instructions page, but it's right on the main opening page. It says instructions. Read through those if you're brand new to the game, because you'll uh, you'll learn some things and uh, some options that you have that you may not have known about. Got to be a little careful here. These planes can kind of cross a little bit, but they're they're, be, they're behaving pretty well right now. Got this plane is ready to push back. I'm gonna tell him runway one five. Roger. Uh, do I have a nine? No, I do not. I do not have a nine right coming in. So we're gonna cross these guys. You can do that either by clicking on the underbelly of the plane or by clicking on. Uh, I thought I told you to go. Oh, I click. <laughs> I clicked hold instead of cross. Uh -huh. no. So you can either click here on radar and give the command, or you can click on the underbelly of the plane. If you try to click on the wing or the tip or the nose or something, it's, it's probably not going to take your command. Five, one, nine, one, That's important to know when you're in a hurry, when you've created a sudden emergency and uh, and you, you can't get clicked on a plane in time to give a, a command. Zero 04 right parks themselves. Uh, one zero left parks itself, so you don't have to spend time worrying about that. I really like this configuration. Blue Star 229 Rock, runway 04 left. Blue Star 229 Rock, runway 09. All right, I'm going to get out of this and show you uh, those instructions and some other uh, some other options uh, that you have. All right, from the main page, here are the instructions. Um, it shows you how to run the planes, how to control them, what some of the options are, um, and uh, and how to be a good air traffic controller. Um, you'll learn that as well from, from all these instructions. Uh, this is my favorite, don't be afraid to let planes wait. Crashes aren't cool. Let the planes line up on the taxiway if necessary. Tell an arrival to go around if they're about to crash with another aircraft. And planes on the ground are safe. Keyboard take uh, uh, shortcuts. I don't use those very much. Here's the uh, uh, drone, um, a QZ for up, down, and IJKL for motion. Uh, when you're on the sky cam, uh, you can use the, uh, the uh, drone controls, which are pretty cool. <clears throat> um, high scores, um, you can see your high scores. Um, I've got one Madness uh, Award here. I've had most of these before, but sometimes when an update comes out, because I'm now a, uh, a beta tester, um, they erase the, uh, the scores. 
So let's go back to O'Hare and let's do 28s and 22s and uh, see how I play that because that's going to be a little different. Now the options are, um, see, I could go to 33, but I think, uh, I'm not sure that I want it. Well, let's let's try a little bit of everything, Nightmare shall we? Eight, let's two, do a three. couple 33s. Two, nine, uh, let's do a couple two eight rights because I think one, those are back. pretty good. Let's do a couple zero, of uh, two seven lefts. Steel eight, two, zero on the pushback. Five, and six, on the pushback. I don't think I'm going to like a two two right, but let's try that. Um, I'm not sure. I th this, I like this view because you can see the most <laughs> of the runways and so on. I haven't played this for a while. I used to play this all the time, and I tried the other way, and I like that uh, that uh, uh, one five departure runway. I th think I got planes going in every direction. <laughs> Why do I have... Oh, okay. I got two planes going to 27 left and two planes holding for 27 left. Uh, these two are going to 3-3. Three, three. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I have some planes uh, landing. <coughs> do I have a 2-8 right? I do, but I can get this departure. So this is pretty good. Two eight right. I like that. I think two seven left is going to be pretty good. Um, I got some planes coming in on two seven left, but not Steel not right two, away. So. For runway, two, seven, left, and if I get two, these five, to take four, off, four, see, then I can get this cross runway, over two, to seven, uh, left. what is that? Forgot what what runway they're going to. Okay. And I think three threes will line up automatically, um, and they can take off any time. <clears throat> so there's several uh, departure options. I would probably limit yourself to one of those options. There isn't much room for them to line up here, but you can line up two eight rights and two seven lefts. Uh, I don't Steel have it. Two seven. seven two four cross runway two seven left. Uh, so you can you can have you can use these two as departure runways, and uh, I don't know if yeah you can you can have uh, arrivals on three three because uh, they will. I think this is okay. I'm gonna wait to send this one because it's the Concorde and they take off awfully fast and they'll run over planes in front of them so now I have planes coming in that need to cross 3-3 three, three, which is a problem so I might not use 3-3 three, three much in this configuration because um, it could get to be really busy yeah and see all of these planes now need need crosses need to cross 3-3 three, three and each other which is kind of a pain I don't even dare uh, do a departure on 2-8 uh, right because I'm not sure if it'll hit this plane or not. Okay, now we can get these crossed. And I can get that crossed. And I can get that crossed. See, that's a real mess. That's one of the things I don't like. Um, it's all that crossing. You're getting to see this um, raw because I haven't played this configuration in a long time, so I'm learning this as I go, which is good because that means I can explain it to you as I go. Okay, these guys have to... Do I have a 2-2 right? I do not. Oh. Oh. It, oh, it takes off from there? Oh my goodness, I don't like that. Oh, that is 2-2, two, two, right? 
Yeah, okay, so it's right there. So 2 7 right should not be a conflict, I don't think. Let's see. Steel slot, 7 2 4. <laughs> cleared for takeoff, runway 2 2. Yeah, that right. shouldn't be a conflict for departures. Nine, one, then. Okay. Seven, for takeoff, runway, I wasn't two, sure. Two, right. Like I say, I'm learning this as I go. Uh, two, two, yeah, three, three arrivals are okay because they'll park themselves. They've got a, cl a clear shot up to the gates. This would be a ten by right. Still need to get this departure. Let's do that. This isn't a bad configuration, but I like the other one better because I'm used to it and and I can. I only I only need one departure runway, and but I have like five six arrivals actually seven arrival runways that's a lot um but for o'hare i mean that's kind of the way o'hare is <laughs> o'hare is the airport i tend to to go through a lot um because my nearest airport most of its planes go to to o'hare and the other the others go to denver maybe a few to minneapolis but not very many So I decided uh, either two seven left or two, uh, probably two seven left is the safest. Two eight right can get kind of busy. Uh, let me cross here. I think I'm okay. Yeah, we we'll go to two eight right with that. Here again, if you play at a little bit slower rate, you can kind of get used to a flow. You don't want to have um, planes landing and taking off on the same runway constantly. That's going to get confusing and that's going to cause you trouble. And that's not how our traffic controllers do it anyway. So. Now I got planes building up here because they have to cross. Oh, okay, so the one fives do have to do have to cross. So I don't like three 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 arrivals. Uh, we're gonna put a stop to that. Slam to nine two one cross runway two two right. And now I have all these planes um, coming in and runway trying to get across right. one, this one. Nine. Request taxi. Future jet one eight nine on the pushback. Nightmare seven two one on the pushback. Five, seem to have planes five, coming five, in two at a time on each runway, eight, which is right. kind of weird, but no well. Future jet five four six cross runway two seven left. Now some of these do go up here, so but some apparently came this way, or was that the two seven rights that came over here? I don't know. I lost lost control somewhere. Four, nine, I'm going to do a departure. If you haven't seen this game before, uh, the animation is really cool. Uh, that guy just passed through this other one. I don't know why, <laughs> but he did. That doesn't usually happen. Usually you have to go in and, and uh, tell them it's okay to do that. To keep planes moving. I'm going to take him off of 3-3 and go to... <laughs> Problem is, I'd like to land on the same runway I want to take off. No, I don't. Um, I don't like any of the arrival runways. Maybe four right, but that's not an option, is it? So, two seven right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I want them to go. Going around. Um, let's let's try two seven right and see if I like that. I don't think I'm going to. But. Um, I don't like having to cross 3-3 either. Well, maybe 3-3 is better. Future jet six, five, that's zero, not actually... that was the 2-7 rights that were coming this way, and the three, all the 3-3s come up here, then maybe that is the best one. And I, those are heading for each other. That's weird right there. Wow. I don't like that. Hmm. Can I send planes to 3-3? Yeah, I can. Can't I? Okay. Let me try that. Let me try to send more arrivals to 3 3. See what happens. <laughs> I'm going to send this one too, just for the fun of it, to see if they can. Yeah, they're going to crash. <laughs> Once you've touched a plane, 
Um, you're responsible for it in the air, too. If, if you let it go, typically they're not going to crash. But if you change the speed or something, um, you're responsible for it, and it may not like you. Let's see. I've got uh, okay. I got these planes to take off. Well, there you go. There's a little glance at, uh, at how to organize a multi-runway airport. Again, probably one departure runway and several arrival runways are the easiest. Uh, experiment a little bit. Try out what works best for you. I per personally hate crosses, and so I try to avoid that at all costs. Maybe the, maybe you don't care. Maybe you. Uh, Maybe you're better at organizing that than I am, and that works better for you. Next time, we're going to take a look at two unusual airports. One that requires uh, backtracking, and the other one that is, I think, maybe the most unusual, certainly the most unusual in Airport Madness 3D, possibly one of the most unusual in the world, and that's Lukla, Nepal. We'll take a look at how to how to manage those uh, airports in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again for Airport Madness 3D Volume 2. Welcome new subscribers, and remember, be kind.